Hey everybody, what's going on? The next sketch here, and today I will be doing an art tutorial as requested. So, anyways, before I start off with the tutorial, I'd just like to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It just means so much that 100 of you would take the time to watch my videos and say, Hey, this guy's cool. I'm gonna subscribe and, you know, like my videos as well. You know, give them a thumbs up. And, which means a really a, a whole lot to me. I mean, like, I can't believe how far I came. Like, 100 subscribers in two months? To me, that's insane. Like, oh my gosh! You know? And so I'd just like to say thank you. You know, I just can't thank you enough for that. And yeah, so in my last video, I commented that I would be doing an art tutorial and I would randomly select somebody who I would draw. And so I asked you guys to put your own game name. And the winner will use Legendary Potato 14, which I believe is your username. So congratulations, and hopefully this is your skin. So yeah, congratulations! You won the tutorial! Yay! Yeah. Mhm. Mm so yeah. So yeah. So I'll be showing you in this video what I do and how I make my speed art and stuff. So I guess I could start off with what I use. For drawing, I use Paint Tool Sci, and there's not, it's not the only drawing software, there's like, I know there's like, GIMP, Photoshop, you know, you know, I'm not sure how to write these down, um, there's GIMP, Photoshop, Painter, Illustrator, I know some people use Flash draw for drawing, and, but I just decided to use Paint Tool Sci, because it's just a really good program to use, it has nice, cool different tools to use, and, I like the way you can select colors and layers. It's just a really good and easy way to draw for me, in my opinion, anyways. And then, yeah, so how do I draw on my computer? So, I have a, a Wacom tablet, and they are pretty good, especially what they are is, uh, sorry, um, so essentially what they are is that they are tablets, and you plug them into your computer, and they come with this pen, and when you go on the tablet, it actually kind of works like a sensor. On your computer so that way you can draw so it's sort of like a keyboard where you just like draw and then you look at the screen but i know there are some wacom tablets that like you can actually look on the tablet and watch you draw which i think is pretty cool but they are a little on the pricey side but for me what i used is a bamboo pen and touch wacom tablet and it's a pretty cheap one it's about a hundred dollars <laughs> so yeah but it's definitely worth it and if you are going if you're interested in drawing on the computer and doing stuff like this, I would recommend maybe getting a Wacom tablet, cause, or you could get, sketch it on paper and scan it into your computer. Either way is fine. But yeah, so. <laughs> now let's get on to the tutorial, shall we? So the first thing you do is come up with a pose. For me, I sort of come up with it already, so I'm just going to draw a little stick dude, showing you what it's going to be like. So you're just going to be like, it's sort of like floating, sort of like, you'd be like, oh man, what's up bro? So, <laughs> yeah, but. It won't look like necessarily like floating, I don't know, but, so anyways, let's get started. So, you just keep it really rough. You don't want to be like super, super, super detailed and precise, which I wouldn't do that unless it's inking, so, so yeah. It, it really saves time if you keep it pretty rough. And yeah, so, so the style I'm using right now, it took a while to come up with my own style, but for you, you just gotta do whatever you feel most comfortable with as a style to you. And, you know, just, and always take your time when drawing. I mean, I know that <laughs> you might want to be like, oh my gosh, I just really want this to be finished. <gasps> and it's like, it's done. No, I mean, it takes a little bit more patience, but... I mean, after time, you'll really get used to it, and you'd end up, like, working on it, on these stuff for, like, an hour or so, or even more, which I basically do now. It takes me, like, maybe, like, an hour, and sometimes maybe even close to two hours sometimes to make this these kinds of, of drawings. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so... Mm -hmm. I, I kind of messed up on the mic here. So yeah, I, I will be posting more Minecraft videos. I might even post one today. 
but I think I might let me, so I'll record one pretty soon, and then, like, I'll let it sit for, so I'll let this video stay up for a couple hours, so it'll give you guys, guys time to watch it, and then after that, I guess I, I'll upload my, uh, my, uh, first, uh, official, like, actual Minecraft video, and that'll be a bunch of fun, and I'll tell you guys my in-game name, so that way, and tell you some of the servers I go into sometimes, so I guess you can, like, maybe find me, and then we could play, and be a bunch of fun. Um, so I'm definitely excited to post some Minecraft videos. So, here we are, a very, very rough version of what we're gonna be drawing today. And then what you do, what I do next is I create a new level, le le sorry, l layer, and then lower the opacity of the last one, and then go to the new one, and start drawing the skin. And so, with this, you're still going to be pretty rough, but yet it'll be a little bit more detailed. So, I'm not saying, like, so, instead of not just doing an outline, you're actually doing the skin itself. And, yeah, so. I'm going to speed this up real quick. Because usually for me it takes a while to like maybe get it just right. And yeah, so I'm gonna just speed through this like real quick. Real quick. <laughs> real quick. And then, um, um, so yeah, so before I do that, um, just make sure it looks a, pretty much a lot like the skin. You don't wanna go too long on it but just make sure it looks a lot like the skin because it wouldn't really make sense like maybe if you were drawing a person and then like he looks completely different now i know that's like a basic rule like make sure it looks like what you want to draw you know so i guess i did it's just like a reminder or something so i'm gonna speed through this real quick and i'll be right back And we're back, and uh, so here, here we go, the rough, the rough draft of the sketch that we're doing. So what you're going to do next, which I've already gone, gone ahead and done, is um, lower the opacity of this layer, and then lower the opacity of the previous one as well, and then create a new layer on top of it, and if you're using Pixel Psi, set the stabilizer to 15. And so, before I get started with the inking, I'd like to say that, um, so, some, so, I get my lines pretty smooth, and the reason I do that is I go fast, like, so, here's if you're doing it exactly, and then, like, here's what it's like if you do it, like, fast, you know, pretty fast, right, but then you have these, so then I just erase them, and then, looks nice, so, so, yeah, that's what I want to do, so. You just do really quick, because I feel like the lines seem a lot better when, when, when you do that. And then, oh, I think I made the brush too thick. Um, so, yeah, I just, and the reason why I'm doing this over is sometimes you might not get it, like, right on the dot. And it sometimes takes a while to just get it just right where you're... And just keep doing it until you're pleased with it, because, you know, you just want to make it best as possible, so. And then after that, you just kind of, like, do your, be do your best to, like, not erase it too much, and then just erase it. And, yeah. So, uh-huh. And we're erasing. And then you can, like, if, like, you're, like, doing something, like, maybe really exact, and it's not something you can go really fast on. Like say maybe I'm doing this, and and I don't wanna waste my time just going like, well actually that could work, but. Let's say like I'm doing this and it's like this really round edge at the end. What you can do is fatal side, you can set it to S4, and if you're in a different program, you can be very careful, and do it slowly like I said before, and it'll still look good, and yeah, so. 
You can also do that if it's like really specific or something. And then if you just want to go really fast, you can do this technique as well. And so let's do the rest of the face. And then I'll speed it up and then I will come back. And then we will do the most exciting part of the tutorial, which would be the coloring. Oh man, the coloring is just awesome. So in the coloring part, I guess I'll teach you guys mainly the uh, the the hair, the eyes, the skin, and the shirt. And then after that, I'll go ahead and speed through it and finish it off. So and yeah, so uh, so so before I do that, so before I speed up, I just like to say this process does take a while sometimes. And, and so just take your time and be pretty careful so like if you're doing something like this just zoom in a bit lower the size of your eraser and just try to make it the best that you can and make it to look the best so just don't be too and there we go see looks cool all right well I'll speed it up real quick be right back Hello, and we are back with this sketch. We, it is completely fully outlined now, or as I like to call it, it's completely inked, you know, and it's uh, ready for coloring. Now, before I start, I would just like to say that I'm going to be speeding up the coloring. Why, you may ask? Well, maybe just because, well, it's, I just kind of want you guys to not really, like, go like, okay, so I have to do that, I have to do that, no. At the beginning of the tutorial, I said this is how I draw. This is not how you should draw. This is just how I do it, and I just want you guys, and especially with the coloring, coloring is something that everybody does, and everybody has their own way of coloring, so I'm just going to speed it up, and, uh, cause coloring is something to have fun with, and something to play around with, so, I want you guys to just, you, you know, play around with the coloring, and see what you can make up, like, cause there are a bunch of different tools, not just in page tools side, but in Photoshop, GIMP, just many tools you could play around with and make really cool stuff so yeah that's what i want you guys to do and yeah man just word you know word see you can make different kinds of words word um word um and your typical word, you know? A bunch of different ways, and that's like coloring. There's a bunch of different ways of coloring. So yeah, hopefully, and after I'm done, I will be talking about like, like once I'm done and I show it to you and, you know, thank you at the end of the video like I always do. Um, not saying that I'm annoyed at that, of course not. Why would I be do annoyed of something that I already do? I don't know. I have to talk to myself later. Um, well, anyways, yeah. So I'll talk about the future of videos, um, how often I'll be uploading, and speed arts, and some important updates, and yeah. So I'll be back, and with, and everything will be done and colored, and I will end the tutorial. Well, peace, and I'll be right back.
Hello, everybody, and we are back. And uh, that was the tutorial. Uh, that was the finished product you just saw a couple seconds ago. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you learned something today about how to draw Minecraft. But I like to mention this is how I draw Minecraft. I'm not saying this is how you should draw Minecraft. But the techniques of coloring and stuff, I guess you could do. I mean, if you want to, I guess, and then you could develop your own out of it. I guess that's sort of what I did. So, I don't know. But yeah, so anyways, I'd just like to say thank you again for 100 subscribers. But in all seriousness, yeah, thank you again. And I'm so super, super happy about it. And it just means the world that a hundred of you guys like my videos and want and like them so much that you want to subscribe to me and want to see more. So that means so much. And uh, thank you. So anyways, so back to the tutorial. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want me to go anything in specific, like maybe like you really want to know more about, like the coloring, like something specific like the eyes or the hair or... Whatever. Just let me know in the comments of what you want to learn more about. And I will hopefully get to do that. Also, um, requests. Requests is a big thing. Um, so, I've been getting a lot of requests, and I really want to make this fair, because I don't want to go like, Okay, I will do yours, but I can't do yours. No, that's just not... That's just not... That's not okay. So, what I'm going to do is... Um, so what I'm going to do... Show every so I made this title up ba -da -ba -da, the wheel of sketches in English version the wheel of sketches and what that basically is is where every on my latest video I want you guys to comment on um, your in-game name or your minecraft username in the comments section and every week but today I will be doing it for this tutorial so yeah comment your name down below in my latest videos and in this case, it would be this one. And uh, once I get enough, probably at least maybe about 20 comments, or I don't know, how many, and I'll randomly select one, and I will do them as speed art. And penguins. Um, and yeah, I will choose somebody to do a speed art, and then as soon as I can, I will be uh, making that speed art and uploading it for you guys. So you can watch more. Watch more of the next sketch as he draws his way out of trouble. And that, my friends, would be a movie if I want. Well, yeah. Anyways, also I'd like to mention I am now in a YouTube team. So if you guys were thinking about letting me be in a YouTube team with you, I am sorry, but I am afraid I cannot. And the team is called Minor League Crafters, or at least that's what I think it's called. And we made it up, it consists of me, oh, I'm just gonna list a few, me, Gaming for Laughs, Crazy Bones Animations, Drew the Colorful Carrot, or just the Colorful Carrot, and uh, a bunch more guys. In total we have about eight, I'll put all their names in the description below, and make sure you go subscribe to them, because I am pretty good buddies with those guys, and I hope that you would subscribe to them. It will make them really happy and would make me really happy. Everybody would be happy. <laughs> so, yes, that is an important thing. And if I haven't uploaded in a while, like I have right now, I haven't uploaded so long, um, I have Twitter. I barely use it, but I have it. So, if I haven't been uploading in a while, I'll just say that on Twitter, because I hope you don't want to think I'm dead or anything. Cause I'm not, I'm only 12, I'm only 11. <sighs> I can't die that quickly unless I'm in a car accident or something with samurais and yeah. <sighs> so that's that. And yeah, I will, so yeah, comment your name down below and I will be doing a speed art for you if you get chosen. And also again, congratulations to Legendary Potato 14 cause he was chosen. Bro, that's amazing. And Hope you like the picture I made to you. Comment your email. I will email the picture to you. And yeah, it'll be fun stuff. And let's see. Uh, oops. Um, let's see, how long did I really put? Okay, I think I mentioned everything. Let's recap. Thank you for 100 subs. Means a bunch. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. 
want anything else about tutorials, comment in the description below. I have Twitter and a YouTube team. And I will be making more Minecraft videos, or I'll make my first one pretty soon, hopefully today, because I'm now in full break, so I have a whole five days, extra, three more days extra of making videos for you guys. Yay! Full break. I mean, full break. More speed arts. Comment below. Fun stuff. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all later in my next video. Peace. Okay, peace.